All right, it is Saturday, April 20th, 2024. I'm here at Woodley Park in Van Nuys, California for the annual Mopar Spring Fling. I have filmed this one in the past. I missed it last year. I think I just did the fall fling last year. Um, last year it fell on the same day as Chino Corn Feed Run, which I'll be doing next week. April kind of got, the shows in April this year kind of got mixed up. Uh, and uh, the Sunday always falls on the same day as Pomona, which of course was last week. So I'm confused too. Uh, but anyhow, the, what I'm not confused about is there's always a lot of amazing Mopars at this show. There's a great swap meet, and you're gonna love this video. So let's go have a look. All right, so this is Mike. This is his uh, gold duster. He wanted to be in the video. He says sure. his kids watch it. and your my, my grandkids, grandkids love it. My name is Mike Nolan. I'm from Torrance. I'm with the South Bay Mopar Group. Great organization, Torrance. Love these guys, they're wonderful. My 1973 duster. Today I was on the freeway. I got it over 55 miles an hour. Great. That was funny. All right. But so take we're a gonna, look at it. We're going to show you this car. It's very original. Check out the As interior. original as I can. It's as old as me. There you go. Now my kids love your show, let me tell you. Oh, thanks. It's a very, very clean example in Mopar Beige. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, we're going to start up here with some Ford Look cars, this Imperial. Actually, I've already shot some footage, but I had to delete because the microphone uh, didn't charge. Unfortunately, I carry a second microphone set up with me which I loaned to my daughter the other day, which fortunately I got back and recharged and it was in the car. So I have to reshoot what I shot plus what I haven't shot. So luckily, luckily I'm still able to bring you these cars. So I'm trying to remember what I, what I said in the parts of the video where the microphone uh, messed up. I think it's pretty much tomorrow is uh, Fabulous Ford's Forever, the old not show, but this time it's at Irwindale Speedway. So I'll be out there with my 5.0. So we have a look at this uh, DeSoto Sportsman Fireflight. Kind of a rare 58. This one's a rare Ford look car. So I said, we got that tomorrow. Next week, of course, we've got Chino Corn Feed Run. Uh, next Sunday on the 28th, I'll be spending time with family, so no car show that day. Early May, I'm going to try to do the Friday Night Cruise at Temecula, if possible. Uh, for sure, I'll be at Riverside Show and Go on Saturday, I believe it's the 4th. Uh, weekend after that, we have uh, Long Beach Swap Meet. I'm not doing the Culver City Car Show. It falls on the same day as a concert I'm going to at the Rose Bowl. This is Plymouth. Boy, I am really glad I had that backup mic in my car. This one is for sale. Remember, if you're seeing for sale, there is a uh, swap meet roll. Check the date of the video. There's that, 31,000. The 63 Savoy, the 440. I'm working on a 63 Fury myself, so I can wait. That's a higher line one of this. Well, 63 Plymouth Fury convertible. This one's got the uh, Commando 361 option. Definitely a car you don't see very often these days. Luckily, I only lost about 10 minutes of footage, so. Fortunately, I caught it early. I have to, I have to double check it, because the battery, I definitely charged the battery on that mic, and it definitely was dead, so. Could be a battery malfunction in the actual microphone. Yeah, 300D, I believe this is a pair with the 300D fuel injected. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Everything good? It's good. Okay. All right. So where Oh, you got the four look cars here. Yeah, I can park them in here. All right. 
yeah, yeah. So that is a factory fuel injected. Uh, of course, they had problems with those when they were new. You found an original factory. They were switched to carburetor, most of them. You found a... You found the factory unit and re-engineered it so it would actually work with modern fuel injectors. And the uh, Kelsey Hayes wheels. Yeah, because they let that whatever the are actually and I see it's got the uh, fuel injected 300D badge. A uh, yeah, 64 Dodge Dart convertible. denoted by the V on the fenders. There's a Dart GTS 383. I forgot to mention, if the, check the tentative list which will be in the comments section after the video posts. Let you know what I'm planning on hitting in the future. Stuff gets added, so stuff sometimes you I can't make it. Every once in a while there's something I can't make. I don't think I've missed maybe but a few on the list. Also, Malay's Days is back on on June 1st. I should mention that. I changed it to another show and then the uh, dual carb setup on the Slant 6. So Malay's Days is at Automobile Driving Museum, June 1st, so 1972 to 1995 vehicles. The quirkier, the better. I will not be doing my Rodney Dangerfield. It is June, it is too hot to wear that suit. So, I will be out there filming it, and I have entered my Matador in that show. They literally announced it was back on right after I announced in the last video we were switching to a different show so now we're switching back uh, since it's put on the organizers are friends of mine i film that one every year and it's always a lot of fun in fact my daughter likes to come out and help out at that show our dark gts three three car Maybe I'll try to come up with like a smoking jacket or something light that would be danger field related. We'll see. It's just very hard to wear that suit when it's hot out. I've done it before and it's, it is miserable. Plus I got to film the show. This one is for sale. 48,066 area code on that one. Big block factory four speed car. Sixty-seven Dodge, the big guy, the big Polara. Sixty-six Chrysler Newport convertible. Howard Cars Jensen. So it was a 72 Interceptor. Of course, these came with the 440 Mopar. Check out the A track. Let's see, guys, you got Best of Dolly Parton. Thank you. Come on. 
here. This is a guy messing around in his trunk. Last time you've seen a Jensen Interceptor. I believe all the swap meet people have moved in. Hopefully they're set up already. Got a uh, Plymouth Belvedere. Got the uh, 273. Top with uh, the poverty caps on it. And I've said it before, but make sure you like the video. John on TV involves hitting pause and moving over to the thumbs up symbol. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you can, leave a comment, which is much easier on a phone or tablet or computer. It does help us out with the algorithm, which unfortunately YouTube has messed with in the last year and has really hurt the guys that do the longer form videos. Make sure you do that on everybody's videos you like to watch. And it will help you find the videos you actually do want to watch. Here's a 68 Barracuda. And also make sure if you're on YouTube and you can't find something you really want to watch, keep checking the subscriptions tab. So they'll have all the latest videos in chronological order of the channels you do subscribe to. So make sure you do that when you can't find anything you want to watch on YouTube. You'll probably find something in the subscriptions tab. I have a Valiant convertible. Unfortunately, they had a video the other day. They want to start messing with the subscriptions tab and make that somehow uh, algorithm based, which all the comments on the video that YouTube posted were like, no, please don't. It's the only way we can find what we actually want to watch. There's Valiant Signet. Okay. Pretty bare bones Plymouth. Also, if you know, like, it's Pomona Sunday, or if you know it was a show I'm planning on hitting, check later in the day. I usually have the video up. So if it doesn't show it, check, check my actual YouTube channel page later in the day. And a lot of times the videos are on there that uh, it does not recommend to you. This Dodge Adventurer D-Series pickup with the very 70s graphic scheme. This guy was at Bob's Big Boy last night. A lot of the cars that come here were at Bob's last night. I did not film it. I like to go there to hang out on Friday nights. I'll film it occasionally. So I knew I had already had two car shows this weekend. This one's just dripping in the 70s. Check out the stacks. Reminiscent of the uh, Little Red Express. Not sure if there's one of those here today. Oh wait, it's right next to me. <laughs> Apparently I'm completely oblivious this morning. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like the truck that's sitting next to it. Okay. I'll leave that in, because why not? <laughs> and speaking of Little Red Express, trucks here's one right here <laughs> so it does have a for sale so I'll come around this guy's hanging around over here get you the for sale sign in case you're in the market for one of these I love the wood sides of course they had the Dodge Warlock which was the uh, uh, which was the version that came in black 24,500 there's the info 818 number so it's pretty local to here 
one's a 79 model. There you go, there's the phone number on that one. Super B. So it looks to be original. Yeah, I think this might be an original and restored car. It's kind of giving off those vibes. My van out to this, my, my Dodge. Just have not gotten around to it. Not regular, regular. Bring the 70s. Van. I plan on hitting any van events in the near future. I have, of course, I've filled many over in the past. Dodge A-Series van in the 60s. This will start in the back because they've got a conversation going around the front. I wish I knew about him. You want to know why? Take a look in here. I was at Pitcher Park looking for something. You know what I found? The steering gear hasn't been... Let me go side here. No, I need to make a new drag link for this one because... Uh, so previously, they don't get a lot of vans at this show. Yeah, yeah. That's why I always wanted to bring mine. Yeah, one of the more modern Mopars. So I usually say, I expect somebody asked me about it today. I usually don't focus in too much about the modern ones unless there's like some crazy modifications and work done to them. Uh, since it's mainly a classic car channel. It's probably gonna be the same thing tomorrow at Fabulous Forge. There's no way I could film like all the late model stock Mustangs there as it would get a little bit repetitive. So that's going to be an interesting one for me to film. Let's go look at this vintage charger. I don't know if you've got like crazy paint schemes and all sorts of custom stuff. I mean, that that's just interesting. So I usually film that stuff on the modern ones. Yeah, 67 Barracuda. Tomorrow will be an interesting day of filming. Yeah, this Hemi uh, Challenger convertible. Oh, okay. Got it. 71. With the four speed. And this black uh, Plymouth GTX. Yeah, 
71 Hemi Cuda. This guy showed up at Bob's last night as well. In fact, Bob's was crazy last night. It was probably one of the busiest I've seen it in a while. So a lot of the people coming to this show went. It was just perfect weather. Not too hot, not too cold. Dodge Coronet, two door hardtop. spray under the hood looks very original Should mention we're very close to Van Nuys Airport, so you hear airplanes flying overhead, that is why. Dodge Diplomat Police Undercover Car. He's all ready to go. He's got all the police equipment, police radio, and all. Yeah, 14,794 was the uh, window sticker on this. Got a satellite Sebring. Sixty-eight Dart GTS, three forty car. This one actually is for sale. Forty-five thousand. There's the info. Eight hundred five area code. It's a little bit north of here. There's an example of a modern 
car, but they've modified it as PT. Look, this is the one with the scissor doors. We doesn't have them open right now. But a uh, modified PT Cruiser. And you got a uh, sports satellite. 69 Plymouth. I've seen this one at the show. Numerous. I've seen this at various shows locally. You know, over the years. Also, they do the uh, fall fling show in the fall here. I believe that one is one day, and uh, that does not draw as many people as the spring fling. But I filmed that one. Those are on the channel as well. I actually should make a playlist of all my spring and fall fling videos. I can't remember if I did or not. There's a Viper Coupe. Actually, I believe this was one of the earliest, one of the first car shows I ever filmed was, was this. I don't know how many years ago. It was definitely one of the early ones. Three, three Roadrunner. And many, many, many years ago, I used to come to the show with my father one of his cars he had a, a pair of 58 uh, 300 D's he had a hard top and a convertible and he had a, a 1960 Plymouth Fury convertible and of course we used to do fabulous Fords as well back when we were both involved with the Edsel Club and my dad at one point had like one of the largest collections of English Fords in the United States He's taking his English Fords out there. Okay, yeah, brought his uh, Cummings. <laughs> These days I should get my 96 repainted. I could probably show it. <laughs> it looks, it's still a work truck. I use it for towing. I actually drove the 12 valve to go get Starbucks. <laughs> so pretty, pretty light duty for such a. Uh, Heavy duty truck. It's hauled home many a car over the years on a trailer or large objects. First, pretty much all my jukeboxes have come home using that truck. You got a Hemi a Magnum. I want to keep it as something possible, just loosen up some of the pony that are in. And you're right. Not for telling. I said, what are you talking about? He says, well, they're modern. They're supposed to have a limiter on it. Calendar. Super B. You know how people are. They car. Plane taking off at Van Nuys Airport. Got three forty Cuda. One's a seventy model. See, very original. We've got the uh, looks to be original upholstery. Probably been repainted though. Right here, a little Challenger uh, 440. Yeah, she's 40, 43 now. Challenger RT 383 convertible. Yeah, I, I, I was doing some. Looking at uh, what they were like. driving, right? Yeah. I got mean, um, stuck in some traffic. 
346 pack pink challenger. He's like, yes, that's me. That's me. Did you? Yeah, he's full red. I just, I don't know how big he's going to get because we don't know much about his breed. Uh, geese flying through. There's actually a wet. It's actually wetlands right over here. It's also a flood control. This whole area, Woodley Park. Of course, we have this pole of the dam right by here. So when it rains, this whole area floods. In fact, you'll usually see it on the news. So he's got a uh, stuffed Roadrunner riding passenger. Air grabber shot. This whole area floods and we get heavy rains. In fact, there's still some mud in certain parts here of the park. That's weird. A Transformers Chrysler 300. Seventy Road Runner. Let's talk to this guy last night at Bob's. Give you a good look under the hood. Straight out a Hemi with a six pack. Let that soak in. Try to get some of the cars that rolled in later than I started filming. A uh, Plymouth Fury 3 four door sedan. Plymouth Fury with a Hellcat swap, and he uh, detrimmed it so it looks more like a Savoy. It's kind of confused me for a second. Very sharp looking car. Maybe that's what I need for my uh, a, uh Valiant Signet Slant Six car. And Dodge Arma pick up some of the cars that rolled in late and then we'll we got a couple more lines I haven't shot yet. Actually one that I did the footage was no good. Big Plymouth Fury 3 convertible. A dark two door sedan. So I'll roll right into this road runner. There's another wing car coming in right now. By the time I get back to the wing cars, hopefully that whole line is filled in.
original looking Dodge Challenger convertible. Uh, GTX bare metal clear coat very clean Dodge Coronet 66 Duster. Yeah, but the yellow jacket itself is one year old, but they made yellow. Is that available? Nope. Alright, so they do a lot AMCs in the show since obviously Chrysler bought AMC. I have brought my AMCs to the show before. So this Amex. Now my buddy with the Gremlin. I thought he was going to be here today, but I think he's going to be here tomorrow. But I will not be. So I'll be at Ford. Oh, thanks. Check out this DeSoto. It's always a treat to see those rare four look cars. Obviously they were prone to rust, which is why a lot of them didn't survive. Also with the wild styling, uh, Probably by the 1970s, the styling was, uh, I don't know, probably not as appreciated back then as they are now. So a lot of those did not survive. Dark GTS convertible. station wagon big block powered ready for hauling the kids around or whatever you need to pick up at the swap meet you know set of heads whatever and a great big 300 convertible the uh, fuselage era of Mopar this is the 300. See. Original looking Barracuda. So he's got the uh, knock system decal on the uh, windshield for California for those who remember that my first car had that had the uh, knock system that really didn't do a darn thing of course they hacked up a lot of air cleaners for the, to install Keep those the videos going, oh thanks Big 
Dodge Polara, 1970. Two-door hardtop. This, this you just don't see these with the vinyl top. of the wetlands. That's a road runner. Pretty cool though. No, they're not upset. a Dodge panel. the Ram Charger air grabber. Got a uh, Plymouth Prowler for sale. I'm sure you can read that sign. <laughs> Remember these? And he's got the matching trailer. Those were produced for about five minutes. And a Hemi Coronet. Just take that in. So, yeah. They had the 292. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's actually 301. That's good. Well, like this is a 392. So, definitely a rarity. Four Road Runner. Getting into the uh, Malaise era with smog restrictions and such. So the sunroof. It's got slot mags. A 66 satellite. Yeah, that's good. 
a dart sedan. I always say you don't have to have the most valuable car to go to a car show and have a good time. Bring out what you got. All right, so it's almost uh, May the 4th. So we'll bring you the Darth Vader charger. <laughs> out the uh, custom badging. Car's a little bit on the uh, dark side. That's a little cheesy. Actually, one of my ideas for the corn feed rod video is to like just do corny jokes the entire time. So that, that would be a good one. Shaker. The original look. I'll come around this side, I guess. This chair awfully close to the car, so I won't be able to bring it around. It's got, it's like it's got the same vinyl top issues I have on the Impala. More of the modern cars. Yeah, I talked to the people that own the uh, Yellow Jacket edition here last time. I, I talked to them maybe like a year or two ago at this show. They had a lot of special editions in these. about a Plymouth Breeze? Remember these? That one's actually got a, a manual. Can't imagine a lot of these had manual transmissions. Plymouth Breeze. I can honestly say I've never seen one of those at a car show before. <laughs> I've been to a few car shows. You may have noticed. The uh, modern cars. We got this uh, Cuda 340. Not a uh, so gonna do, gonna do bare bones dark GT, ready to go racing. We got a racing, all drag racing out there tomorrow. So I'll shoot a little bit of that while I'm there. Our Dart GTS. A little bit of this Valiant convertible. So I've kind of lost contact with the guy I sold my fan to. Uh, I don't know, that, that's so long ago on the channel. Check out that door panel. It's like straight out of the 1960s. So I did do a video on that car many, many several years ago. And uh, he was restoring it. And I was going to bring you an update. That was the one where I bought it. It was going to be a project car for the channel and then it literally just needed a starter relay. And it started, ran perfect. almost ridiculous how easy that car was to get started. I don't even think I put a battery in it. I think I used the battery that was in it. Let's just say it was a good purchase. Now 
1947 Chrysler sedan. Seven. You said forty-six. Definitely cool. Charger with a four hundred. This one does have a for sale sign. I'll bring it around, show you that. I also still have the swap meet. I believe those guys have all set up by now. I don't know why I got here so early this morning. I literally got here. Most of the swap me guys hadn't even come in yet. There we go. There's your info. 30, 38,900. 72 charger. Original owner up until this year. Got an AAR Cuda. Radiator. That's my buddy. So I mean, so this guy's in 2006. Charger 440, 68. Yeah, Where's the window sticker? 5,241 and 77 cents. This is Dallas's car. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So wish you could buy a new car for that. Well, on a uh, Charger RT, 69 Dart convertible GT. With a four-speed and attack. Big block in this one. I have a Dodge uh, D Series Adventure pickup, Club Cab. Of course, Ford called the same thing the Super Cab on theirs. We've got a wing car, a white Plymouth Superbird. Actually, I shot all the wing cars over in the corner already, but now i got to reshoot them again due to our technical difficulties. And fortunately, I did catch that very early, or I would have been quite angry by the end of the day. A dirt swinger. Yeah. So we'll go into this uh, Dakota convertible. I see these very often. Of course, they have the uh, Shelby version of this as well. Of the stripes on it, it just breaks up. Got a PT Cruiser Woody. This one's actually the uh, turbo version. Or they had the, uh, I had a couple, I had the standard ones of the non turbos. I'm gonna move. Okay. 
I literally just bought them. One of them I bought and got it, got fixed it, got it smogged and sold it for profit. And then the other one turned out to have a bad head gasket and I didn't want to put money in it, so I just got rid of it. Got a pink Challenger. 383 with a four speed. Scotch color, so it's got a four speed. Crowds are definitely filtering in. So it is for sale for 30, 33,000. Hopefully, you can read that. Real nice. All right, so this patina charger has been around for. I don't know how many years I've seen this uh, rolling around. Like, uh, a few, I'd say about five or six years ago, I got a picture of it rolling down the 210 freeway near Arcadia, posted it on Instagram. Of course, we've seen it at a few shows. I do, I do. Red. An RT charger with the Hemi. The 46 pack uh, Roadrunner in green. Go a Arcuda. Yeah. 
Barracuda. He was on Power Tour West. In fact, I remember this car. If you haven't watched the Power Tour West videos, they're on the channel. I got three days of that. That was a really fun event. Hopefully they do it again this year. That beautiful Challenger. Dodge Ram Charger. Yeah, Super B. So I'm going to finish this line, wind up with the uh, wing cars, and then we'll go see what vehicles are for sale over in the swap meet area. And then after that, I will come back out and see if there's any obvious cars that I missed or showed up late. Maybe I'll see you uh, in October or next year. Yeah, yeah. Or if, you're up, if you're up in Vegas, because like a couple weeks ago they had the... Uh, no, 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 no. no. Yeah, RT Coronet. Before you were on my ass. 69. Got to watch the uneven ground from the rains. This uh, 426 Hemi Coronet. RT car. Automatic column shift. That's interesting. So it looks to be very original. Check out the uh, stripes that are fading off. So I'm going to take some more shots, but if we ever meet up... Um, Let me look here. Kind of a neat car with the uh, cheapy hubcaps on it. Yeah, Super B. All right, I'm going to shoot some cars that I shot earlier, but had the uh, glitch. Starting with this uh, Valiant Signet. A very original early Charger. So it actually has a Rosell sign on it. Getting ready for the swap meet area. 66, could be here for 15500 Yes, the prices are coming up on these now that the... Uh, 68 and the later ones have become pretty well priced out of most people's reach. Number 70 Road Runner. Challenger. Okay, we're back to the uh, wing cars. This Dodge Daytona. Always a crowd pleaser. This is Plymouth. Superbird. It's got the uh, four speed in it. Of course, these were built for homologation for NASCAR. I believe they were banned. Four forty six pack in this super bird. Oh, looks like the car dude, yeah. It looks like a yeah. Oh, that guy's a tow truck too. Oh, yeah. 
44 barrel and a 69 Daytona Charger. Yeah. That's really cool. The clear. That's 70 uh, Plymouth Cuda. But you know, the truck's smaller. 340. Bright yellow Superbird. He's got the Coyote. Daytona race car. There's we saw and heard that earlier in the video. After this car, we are off to the swap meet. And there will be vehicles there for sale. So is, is he going to go to dinner? So we're wandering towards the swap meet right now. This Challenger. Rossi Dodge. With the 70s paint scheme. There we go. We got a uh, 70 Grand Coupe. 28,000 on that one. It's not obvious, we are now in the swap meet area. So this one's already sold, but you get an idea of the kind of stuff they get in the swap meet area. I'm not gonna bring you the sign. It's listed for 4,850, the 74 Charger. So I'm not going to show the sign since it is already sold. Somebody got it early and got themselves a deal. All right, check it out. We got a 64 Dodge 880 station wagon for sale for $7,500. I'll bring it around and show you the sign. It's got a more modern tire and wheel combo. Not sure what those are off of. Does have the roof rack and the uh, wind deflector. And the guy brought all his swap meat stuff out with it. There's the info on that, that's not a bad price for that. It does have a Lincoln front seat in it. Got a bunch of Barracuda for so I just overheard him saying he's asking 9,000 for it. That's the info on that. Some assembly required. A uh, yeah, 59 DeSoto Tudor hardtop, 4,500. There's the phone number, all the info. Rusty Fours. So it's a Ford look car. They were prone to rust. It's got, I can't tell where that license is. It's got a novelty license plate on the front. I couldn't tell what it was. <laughs> you look. So the floors need to be done, which is really common on forward look cars. A couple extra holes there in the quarter. 
looks like it's out of uh, Oklahoma. It's got a, a Tulsa dealer plaque on it. But you don't see a lot of 1959 DeSoto Tudor hardtops. This one is the Fire Dome Sportsman variety. Uh, an Australian Valiant Charger. Just with that, a 65,000 on that one. Thing a little bit different, right hand drive, of course. Mission from God. We get a few of the cars that uh, rolled in late. This Dodge truck that's fully restored. You don't often see uh, Dodge pickups of this era in this condition. A 59 Dodge Coronet Tudor hardtop. She has a swivel seat. So I'm gonna hit a few more of these cars, and then uh, I've got to rest up. I got tomorrow. I got a big day at uh, Irwindale. Uh, at least we can bring a few more of these vehicles. There was actually some other cars that sold in the uh, for sale section. So there definitely were some good deals, stuff that got snapped up. A, a 1958 Plymouth Fury. Of course, these all came in beige. They did not come in red as the uh, Christine movie would lead you to believe. And the Fury was a very rare model that year. Of course, I'm just, it's just a joke, it's making me laugh. Plumas. Well, there's the Sport Fury. Is that for him? 55 Dodge with the early Red Ram Hemi. All right, that's going to wrap things up here at Woodley Park for the Mopar Spring Fling 2024. Tomorrow I'm off to Irwindale Raceway for Fabulous Sports Forever. That's going to be a big show on asphalt, so that's going to be definitely a walk fest for me. Lots of other great events coming up here on the channel. Be sure you like, be sure you subscribe. Check that tentative list, which we'll post in the comments section shortly after the video post, let you know what I'm planning on hitting in the near future. Uh, and until next time, I'll be seeing you.